Hello everyone and thank you for joining our Tilburg University Virtual Open Week. My name is Zanka Costa, I am an international recruiter for Tilburg University and today, together with my colleagues Menno, a Data Science and Entrepreneurship Master's graduate, and Casper, a current Bachelor in Data Science student, we will talk to you about the Data Science Bachelors and Master's programs that Tilburg University has to offer. We will also tackle admission conditions, the student experience and other topics which might be of interest to you. During this presentation, which will take approximately half an hour, you can ask your questions in the live chat you will find on the right side of your screen. We also have a live Q&A session at the end of this presentation, so please feel free to post your questions. Me and my colleagues will do our best to answer them all. So let's begin. If you are joining the session, this means that you want to study and have a career in data science. Great choice. But for those of you who perhaps are a bit unsure, what does data science actually mean? Worldwide, every day, people upload 300 million pictures and send 3.2 billion likes. Facebook has 2.3 billion monthly active users and Google Voices processes voice processes 10 years of spoken test. The UK has 2 million surveillance cameras and the medical data doubles every five years. It's hard not to assume that we are surrounded by big data and exactly this new era of technology has brought a high demand of data science professionals. And what comes before being a professional? Studies, academic education. A PWUC study from January 2017 shows that 59% of companies want data science candidates to have college degrees. Data science studies where the information comes from. What is the information? What does it mean? And how you can turn it into a valuable resource for your business. It aims at deriving actionable research and insights from large amounts of data. And therefore, data scientists operate between the business and the IT worlds, combining strategies between the two of them. Companies around the world recognize data scientists as one of their biggest assets. And with today's demand for data scientists as a data science graduate, you can have a career across multiple industries, such as healthcare, finance, communication, retail, which makes data scientists the top career for 2019, according to Glassdoor, due to factors such as salary and higher than average job satisfaction levels compared to other fields. And if you are wondering why you should study data science at Tilburg University, here are a couple of good reasons. Tilburg University, as you will see on your presentation, offers programs, interdisciplinary programs, or international topics. Our Data Science Center Tilburg brings together scientific expertise in economics, management, law, behavioral sciences, social sciences, and the humanities to develop and apply data science, keeping your education up to date with today's industry and professional demands, which will, of course, offer you a good preparation for a future career in data science and great job opportunities. Further. Our data science programs are under the umbrella of JADS, a unique collaboration between the Tilburg University and Eindhoven University of Technology and also the municipality of Den Bosch, creating a new data science knowledge infrastructure which puts Brabant, the region where Tilburg University is located, at the heart of the future. The region uh, where our university is located, Brabant, is what people call the backbone of European innovation. It is known as the smartest region in the world and is the first region in Europe for number of patents filed. 90% of the population speaks English, which means that you do not have to speak Dutch in order to study or work here. Also bringing us to the excellent career opportunities for expats and you will see there just a couple of companies on your screen which are operating in the region. After this introduction on the topic of data science, let us talk about the programs that Tilburg University offers in the field. Uh, you will see your, as you will see on your screen, we offer one bachelor's program and three master's program. In the next couple of minutes, we will briefly present the programs. Don't forget that you can always ask your questions at the end of the presentation during our live Q&A session. First, the bachelor's degree, Data Science, offered jointly with Eindhoven University of Technology. This English-taught bachelor program will offer you the skills of a 21st century professional through courses such as calculus, programming, data statistics, business analytics, or law and data science. You will learn to analyze the large amounts of data that today's society operates on and spot trends for businesses, 
businesses, government agencies, or nonprofit organizations. The program is not only technical, but it also focuses on legal, social, ethical, business, and entrepreneurial matters, of course, connected to data science. But who is better to talk about the program than a current student? Casper is a second year data science student. Casper, what would you tell us about the program that you chose? So, yeah, I uh, choose the data science because uh, I was looking for something perspective and interesting for me. So, I was looking uh, for something that uh, would be um, nice to study, but also that will give me, uh, that will give me uh, the head start on the job market after my three years of bachelor. Um, yeah, I was also looking for something math connected because uh, I was, uh, I just enjoyed doing math before my studies, but I never really did programming before, so I was a bit worried about that. But uh, as I uh, saw in the first year, I really had to keep up with the programming, for example, if you know already right now that you will have struggles, for example, with math, programming or statistics. I think the only thing you have to really do is uh, just to study week to week, uh, keep up with your studies, uh, don't make some gaps of three weeks because you're parting or something. So you have to work hard in order to yes. be a data science student? Yes, definitely. Okay, and how does a regular day of a student look like? It actually looks a bit different than uh, most of the student days because as you said before, we have to study on both universities, on Eindhoven and on Tilburg University. So you have to travel between those universities. Also, you have uh, group projects. So uh, instead of lectures, we often just meet in groups, work in groups, and yeah, deliver something for every meeting. And we work without teachers and without any classes. And what do you think was the biggest challenge that you faced as an as a international student? Yeah, um, the, the biggest uh, challenge for me was, I think, this programming in the first year when, mm -hmm. I, when I really like, never touched programming before I, I came here. And of course, this is a basic course, so it's meant to be for people who never touched programming before. But as I said, it was the biggest challenge because I never touched it. So I knew that I have to keep up with everything and I really have to uh, go through it, you know. And do you feel that you learned programming now? Yes, after yes, two I years? really, I feel like even I could surpass people who did programming before as I was working hard during the course. Okay, and what parts of the, of the program do you find the most interesting? What are your favorite courses? Yeah, so as I said, those group projects are really, really interesting. Mm -hmm. uh, it seems weird, but it like, it teach you how to uh, work in industry. So we work in groups, in projects, as you would work in the future job. Mm -hmm. And um, this, m uh, this allows you to deliver something really big because you would be able to learn something uh, from this course alone as well. So for example, 50, 70% of the knowledge, but because you're working in a group of six, uh, this allows you to uh, learn something, something more and uh, to, sorry, to deliver something more and to make something great, yeah. And what are your plans after graduation? Are you thinking of a master's degree? Do you want to do an internship? Yes, I, I, I think that after this bachelor, you can go for a job already. Mm -hmm. But I was thinking about doing a master. And one of my uh, considerations uh, is business analytics master in Tilburg. It's a one year master. But I was also thinking about going into data mining or artificial intelligence. It really depends on your electives, I would say, because as you have so many electives to choose, uh, you can really uh, choose a variety of masters. So you can choose a mo more technical, you can go into entrepreneurship, and there's a lot of choices, a lot of paths you can go. Okay, thank okay. you, Casper, for your thank contribution. You. So as Casper said, after finishing your bachelor's degree, or if you already have a degree in a relevant field, you can opt for one of our master programs. And the first one that I'm going to briefly present is the Master's in Business Analytics and Operations Research. This one-year English taught program combines the fields of business, mathematics, and statistics to make smarter management decisions based on quantitative tools and data. You will develop skills to communicate your findings efficiently with decision makers while discussing real business cases of companies with both academics and professionals. Since the program has a strong focus on business, it is worthwhile mentioning that when it comes comes to business and economics, Tilburg University is ranked as the first program uh, in the Netherlands, the first university, the sixth in Europe and the 28th worldwide according to Times Higher Education rankings in 2019. A couple of career options on the right of the, or the screen, you 
maybe find it useful to know that 92% of our graduates find a job within three months after graduation and 76% uh, find a job within mon one month after graduation. On your screen, you will also see that you have a couple of additional advanced programs, the extended master's, which is a traineeship of half a year, uh, on top of your regular master and the QTEM network program, which adds an additional year to the program, uh, which we spent uh, at a partner university and a corporate partner. Moving on to our second master, Data Science and Entrepreneurship. The Master Data Science and Entrepreneurship is a two years program offered jointly with Eindhoven University of Technology. It is ideal for students eager to bring data science into effective use in business. Hi. This is my colleague Menno. He is a graduate of this master. As a graduate of this program, can you perhaps tell us more about what this program is about, what was the biggest advantage of studying this program, and what do you think that there are the, are the career opportunities that this program may help you with? Yeah, so the most interesting part about this program is that it's a combination between data science and entrepreneurship. So we always try to uh, apply data science to find new business insights, which can deliver uh, business added value uh, for companies, uh, both large and small. Because entrepreneurship can be seen in two ways. First, you can see it as uh, building your own startup, becoming maybe the next new Facebook. But it could also work for bigger companies who uh, are searching for um, interdisciplinary teams which can find new business ideas. So then you have like a startup within a big company. There you go. Can you name a couple of courses that you found the most interesting? Or can you also just ask Casper, tell us how a day of a master's student looks like? Mm -hmm. So for, from a master perspective, uh, you're already expected to have a strong background uh, from your bachelor. And you are getting courses such as uh, uh, privacy and intellectual property, which explains what kind of data you can extract from the internet and where are limits. So where are its copyright coming in? Um, another course I can give an example of is data mining. So getting more in depth about uh, finding uh, relative uh, information in big data sets. Um, and last uh, interesting course I found was um, my master thesis, which is like a large chunk of your masters, where you can really find your own project where you want to work on. Um, and that makes the whole program quite intensive, but also quite interesting. Okay, and besides the entrepreneurial spirit that any entrepreneurship student should have, what else do you think should add to the profile of a data science and entrepreneurship student? I would say one word, curiosity. Okay. Always find new insights, both in your data uh, that's there, but also while talking to domain experts, because they know uh, yeah, what what's relevant uh, for the data. So if you look to medical data, talk to a doctor. If you have data about the municipality, go try to find the mayor of the municipality to ask him questions. Mm -hmm. um, because these people really know yeah, where to find your way around the data. And then you can come back with technical insights. Okay. What about the programming skills of the student? Well, um, of course, this is a master program. So it's, it's, it is expected that you have um, yeah, some basic programming skills from your bachelors. And especially the, the bachelor you talked before, uh, data science will give you a strong background for such a master. And most of our programming is done in Python. Mm -hmm. um, and for those who are willing to, can choose other languages as well. But Python would be uh, yeah, the main language we use uh, during the program. Okay. And lastly, how was your experience with being a student of two universities at the same time? It's really, really interesting because you really get uh, the professors that are top of their fields from both respective universities. So we've got the society side coming in from Tilburg and a more technology side coming in from Eindhoven. And it really brings out a combination where you can add a value for businesses based on data insights. And I think this combination yeah, is really interesting um, because people are working together. And through that collaboration, you find new insights. And even you see sometimes that your professors are the, yeah, ending up in a discussion between both of them, like what's best for business or what's best for technology. And yeah, that makes it really interesting. Okay. You studied a two years master's program. Did you have time for extracurricular activities, internship, professional experience? Mm -hmm. So it is a quite intensive program, full time. Mm -hmm. um, and I would say um, the best work experiences being uh, yeah, found in um, your thesis, mm -hmm. because then you are allowed or even encouraged to um, visit a company doing like a an, an graduate internship there. 
and from this internship, uh, yeah, your end product will be your thesis. And on the other side, you are learning how companies apply data science in real life. Um, and you learn also more about the more pragmatic things like working in a group setting, and delivering code standards, stuff like that. Okay. Thank you very much, Menno. You're welcome. Um, guys, we can move forward. And for those of you who are just joining the session, don't forget that you can post your questions in the live chat that you will find on the right of your screen. The final master's degree that we are going to talk about is the Master's Data Science and Society. Formerly known as Data Science Business and Governance, it is a one-year program specifically designed for students coming from different specializations, such as business, economics, social sciences, law, communication studies, which want to add data science to their studies. Data Science and Society is a multidisciplinary program that offers the opportunity to specialize in one of the four domains, business, governance, media, and health. Also, let's think a bit out of the box. If you took a look at these programs and you find them interesting, maybe we can recommend you some other good programs as well. If you like mathematics and statistics and applying your analytical skills to tackle economic, societal and organizational challenges, maybe economics and operations research would be of interest to you. If you especially like combining insights from social sciences, law, humanities and business, you can check out our University College Tilburg Liberal Arts and Sciences. And also um, if um, you are interested in gaining in-depth knowledge about the workings of the human brain and computers that are capable of intelligent behavior. Maybe cognitive science and artificial intelligence could work for you as well. And of course, you will see two other recommendations in terms of master's degree on the right of your screen, um, such as cognitive science and artificial intelligence. About admission application, guys, uh, regarding bachelor's admission uh, requirements, you will need a secondary diploma which will give you access to Dutch higher education. Examples are IB, British A-levels, the French BAC, and pretty much most of the European um, diplomas. You will also need to have a sufficient math level, which means that if you're taking IB, for example, then you would need high-level math. English language uh, tests, IELTS, TOEFL and Cambridge, you will find on your screen the scores that we accept. But my advice for students is also always check the requirements on each web page for every specific programs. And the admission application for master's uh, requirements, you will see the business analytics and operations research for this one because it has a strong focus on math. You will need a bachelor degrees in econometrics and operations research or anything that is similar to that. And you will also need to pass the GRE test with a minimum of 160 points on the quantitative part. For the data science and entrepreneurship degree, you will need a bachelor's degree in applied mathematics, data science, computer science, or anything related and similar to this. And for the Masters uh, of Data Science and Society, a bachelor degree in social sciences, business, law, humanities will make you eligible to apply. As a master's student, of course, that you will also need to attach a motivation letter and a CV and an English proficiency test. For master's degree, the proficiency in English that we ask is a bit higher and you will see on your screen the scores that we require. That was our session, guys. Don't forget that we have a live chat that starts right now at the end of the presentation. Please feel free to ask your questions. We have colleagues from admissions, colleagues from the housing department that are able to take your questions. And as I said, we will do our best to answer all of them. Thank you for your attention, and I hope to see you at Tilburg University.